Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Um, this is our project today, this little card here. I took part in the Ink Stamp Share blog hop yesterday and this was the card that I submitted. Our theme was new products from the annual catalogue and I had used um, two new stamp sets. In fact, have I put the other one away? Where have I put that stamp set? Um, right, okay, the flowers are from this stamp set. I can't actually see, oh, there it is. Hang on a sec. Happiest of birthdays, there it is. Um, and this, so these two stamp sets I used. So I used one of these little flowers and the centre and the little leaf to do the flowers. And then I used this big greeting, which I love, um, to do the sentiment in the middle. Thought it made a really nice combination. Um, and so I'm going to show you how I made it. And as usual, I'm going to change up the colours. So we're going to use blue. We're going to do blue flowers instead of lilac. Those were Highland Heather. We're going to use balmy blue. Um, but before we do that, we will do the um, sentiment. So I've got a piece of card, white, Whisper White cardstock here. It doesn't need to be our, our thick. It can just be the thin. Um, and I've got my silver embossing powder i've got my versamark pad pad and i need the big happy birthday greeting stamp from here haven't stuck any of my stickers on yet sometimes i don't bother to stick them on actually i don't find i need them too much although they do give a really nice adhesion now if you use our um block is this one big enough i think i had to use a really big one um um, they do give really nice adhesion if you use the new stickers, um, so it might be worth doing. One day I will get round. I just, I don't know, I'm just in a hurry to use my stamp sets all the time, so I don't get around to um, to um, putting the stickers on. Right, okay, I have a funny story to tell about this. It's been really hot in the UK just recently, up to 32, 33 degrees the other day when I was making this version of the card. And I decided to heat emboss, forgot that I had my fan on. So as soon as I opened my embossing powder, the fan caught it and it was everywhere, all over my desk. I had a fine dust of embossing powder, which was not very nice and very tricky to, to, um, to clear up as well. It got everywhere, you know, fine powder just gets everywhere. Right, okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna use our um, embossing buddy. I don't think we sell these anymore, but you might be able to pick one up at a different stamping suppliers in the UK. I don't know whether they sell them in Hobbycraft. Don't think we sell them anymore, which is a bit silly, I think, because I use mine all the time, but hey ho. Um, right, okay, and then I'm gonna take my Versamark pad and I am gonna stamp it all over this stamp, stamp on here. Make sure that I've inked it nicely and then I'm going to bring it down. It's beautiful greeting this, I'm loving it. I think it's going to be so useful. And I, whereas I normally just like happy birthday, wishing you the happiest of birthdays, I can, I can live with that. Um, I quite like that greeting. I'm not, I'm, there's a lot of the, lot of the sentiments you'll know I'm not very keen on, but that one I absolutely love. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I'm just going to get a paintbrush. Not that you're going to see those little scraps of um, those little specks there. But I am just going to grab my my um, paintbrush and just brush them off. End up with more embossing powder everywhere. So just to make sure you've got no stray. <coughs> Don't know what it is about coming onto camera. As soon as I come onto camera, I start coughing. Right, okay, I'm just going to warm my heat gun up a little bit before I start trying to heat emboss so that it doesn't blow the powder rather than um, warm it. <coughs> <coughs> and watch the magic of the powder melting. I love this every time. Never fails to amaze me. And it looks so gorgeous. This, uh, uh, this um, silver embossing powder is so shiny silver. I've used other makes in the past and it hasn't been quite this shiny. And I didn't realise it at the time until I started using the stamping up powder. I've done quite that little bit there as well there. Can you see how gorgeous that is? Really lovely. Right, now then. We're going to cut this down to being 
uh, what size did we need it? We need it to be 6.8 by 8.2. What I'm going to do first of all is try and line it up because I don't know if you can see, but if I put a ruler under the U the, you can see that that greeting is not very straight. Now, whether it matters that the U the, I don't know whether it does really. Maybe it doesn't matter. Mm, maybe it doesn't matter. What did I do on this one? I did straighten it up on this one, so maybe I will straighten it up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop a bit off here anyway. So we need this. Can you see that's now lining up? So if I just move it along and keep that lined up, this should... Now, if I go round and just chop a bit, hopefully that will have straightened it up. Of course, you can always do what I didn't do and try and stamp it. There, now it's straight, okay? So we've now got it straight, so that's just a little tip to do that. Now, what I've got to do is cut it down to, what did I say? It's got to be 6.8 by 8.2. So this way, it's got to be 6.8. So... I'm going to cut a bit off there and then I'm going to cut a bit off here. That's going to be too much so I'm going to move it along. So if you wanted to you could mark with a pencil, you could do this. I tend to just play around with my cutter until I've got it to the size I want. So it's nearly there now. It's about seven now so I just need to take a little millimetre off one side. And which side does it? Yeah, I'll take another millimetre off this side. So this side now measures 6.8. And then the other side, the other way up, needs to measure 8.2. So at the minute it measures 9.5. So we've got to cut a bit off there. So I'll do there. If I took it to 8.2, it would be there, which is a bit too close. So I'll just do... To there and then come back here and cut the last little bit off. Where are we? There. There we go. And that's how I got my, my greeting down to the size I want. Like I said, you could measure it and mark it and then trim. I tend to do it by eye and like that. Now, my piece of um, cardstock needs to be four millimetres each way bigger because I want a two millimetre border. So this is going to be seven two by eight six. So 7.2 this way by 8.6 and I'm hoping ta -da, that that will layer really nicely on there. Can you see? That's really good. I really like that. So I'm going to come in with my Tombow. If you're watching my videos a lot, you'll be realising I keep getting blocked nozzles of my Tombow. So I've given this one... Um, I've used a new nozzle of a different one, replaced it um, to make sure it works. It's still got quite a lot of glue in it. I didn't want to abandon the glue, but the nozzle just came to, seemed to keep getting bunged up for some reason. There we go. It's quite old though, this one. Um, well, all my Tombows are quite old because I, I have about six on the go all the time, so I don't use just one. I use a lot. Right, that's going to be left to dry while we do the card blank. So let's take the card blank. And like I said, we're using these three little stamps from the Blossoms in Bloom set. So much use out of this set. I can tell I'm going to use it loads. And I'm going to do bloss um, Barmy Blue. And I'm going to bring in a piece of um, scrap paper in case I want to stamp off on there. So on my card... You can see I did some in full strength and some second generation. Um, so that was stamped off. So I stamped this one and then stamped that one. But if I forget and I want to do another one, I can always stamp it off on paper. So here's my first one. It's going to go up in this corner, going to off the edge a little bit. Lovely. And then we'll stamp another one then without stamping off. There we go. Now we're going to stamp another one down here. And another one up here, half off. There you go. I'm positioning them very much as I did before, but of course you don't need to do that. There we go. And I'm not going to stamp that one again because half of it hasn't stamped, so you'll get that line, which I did there. Slight error there. Rookie mistake. So I'm going to do this one down here 
and then I'll do this stamped off one there and then I'll do another one round here part stamped off so I won't hang on do that again stamp it off properly and do one here and one here is that enough do you think I think that's plenty right so and it's got this lovely watercolor um, wash look to it which is lovely and I actually I don't know whether you noticed but a couple of these I didn't stamp quite right but it doesn't matter because it's that kind of look of stamp set so again this is a great set for a beginner because if you make an error like that it's not going to matter because that's the actual look of the stamp set okay I'm now coming in with daffodil yellow and the center of the uh, of the flowers and I'm going to stamp and then stamp again on one of the lighter ones and again these might not be quite correctly positioned but again it doesn't really matter it's not a precise art this so so pretty yellow just brings them to life doesn't it there we go and one more there we go that's a very pale one there um, there we go and then lastly I'm coming in with granny apple green and again I'm going to do full strength on the full strength flowers and half strength or stamped off on the other flowers I'm going to give them two flowers each as much as possible this one's going to go off the edge so I'm not going to use that I'm going to stamp off use that one like that so therapeutic this kind of stamping love it love it I could sit and do this all afternoon but I've got loads of other videos planned ready to bring you so I won't sit here and do this all afternoon but this would be a really good card you could you could just take these supplies if you needed a whole load of birthday cards or thank you cards you could just take this on holiday with you and have it in a little bag a few supplies you need and you could make a whole pile of these um, quite easily it's a bit like making your own kit up I might do that one a third time there because that's a very pale one right I just need one more up here, one here, and the last one, just going to stamp off. There we go. And there are my flowers. Oh, and I forgot, um, let's bring back Balmy Blue. We just need to stamp one inside. On that one, I did it stamped off, but I think actually I prefer one full strength. So I'm going to do a full strength one inside my this time there we go and let's bring back the daffodil yellow to do the center I should have done this at the same time as I was doing the card I completely forgot if you wanted to you could always do the envelope as well of course and that makes it look even nicer you have a really nice matching envelope for your um, card just gives, sets it off and makes it even more special. Not that a handmade card isn't always special. There we go. Right, there we go. So that's my little flower inside, just to bring the front through to the middle. And then all we need to do is bring our sentiment that we made earlier and move that there maybe. Yeah, oh, isn't that pretty? There we go. I do love blues and blues and lilacs. I was just thinking the other day, I haven't done anything much in pinks lately, so I think I'm about time I did something pink next time. There we go. Ta-da! There we go. There's our two cards. Um with blossoms in bloom and happiest of birthdays 
so I hope you like seeing that. I hope you watched, the, we went through the video blog yesterday. There were some lovely projects. So I hope you had a chance to hop around there. Um, thank you for watching. If you wanted to buy any of the products I've used, of course, they're available in my shop. If you don't already have a catalogue, then let me know. Won't be long before I'll be offering the kitchen, the Christmas catalogue as well. And unbelievably, we were allowed to see that last Wednesday. Um, but anyway, that's it from me today. Um, oh, don't forget, this is going out on Monday, is it Sunday? Sunday. But there's only a couple more days to take advantage of the promotions that we've got on at the minute. If you have a really big wish list and wanted to spend, I know it's a lot of money, if you spent £200, you actually would get £40 um, at least of free stuff to choose. Um, so there's that offer going on. And that's an extra £20. Normally you'd get £20 back for um, a £200 spend, but at the moment you get £40. And the other offer is... Um, but if you join, you get £130 worth of products for only £99 with free shipping. But also at the moment, you can choose a free bundle. So you could actually choose the Blossoms in Bloom bundle. It comes with some lovely dyes. Um, or there are there are loads of other bundles. I can't remember how many. There must be, I don't know, 30 or 40 bundles in the catalogue that you can choose from. So if that appeals to you, I've said it to many people, there really is no catch. You can just buy the starter kit and do nothing else you could just keep your goodies pay what you pay and do nothing else if that's what you want to do there are loads of opportunities to do other stuff but you don't have to do them and there's no pressure from anyone to do anything more if you don't want to so really that is that it from me today i feel like i've said goodbye several times um and i'll see you soon bye bye thanks for watching